Hi there, Jamie here today at Teachers Tech. Hope you're having a great day today. Today, I want to show you how you can create and add a digital signature to your Microsoft Word and have it saved so you can quickly enter it at any time. So for an example, I could have a letter that I'm writing. If I go up to insert and then look over to the right to quick parts over here, I can go to auto text. And this is one that I created as an example. And it just took me a few minutes to do this and I click on it and it goes in. And I can edit this at a later point and I'll show you how to do this. This is done by taking a picture just from a piece of paper with your signature on it, bringing it into Word. And I'm gonna go through all these steps today on Teachers Tech. So before I get started inside Microsoft Word, I'm gonna take a quick picture using my phone of my signature. So what app I'm gonna use is just OneDrive and then it's gonna sync over to my computer in seconds, I can just grab it from my computer. You could use Google Drive for the same thing. You can take a picture within that. And if you're using desktop for Google Drive, uh, you could uh, go ahead and retrieve it. So I'm using OneDrive and I'm just gonna open this up and you can see at the bottom there is a camera. I'm gonna press that. And I don't want to capture a document in this case. If you look at the bottom, I'm going to scroll over and then just use this as a picture. Uh, and you try to avoid shadows and everything too, but I'm just taking a quick uh, photo just like this. And I can do some cropping here if I want to. So, and if you have a different way of getting this image, that's fine. I'm just showing you this way that I'm doing it. I'm going to go ahead and confirm that and hit done because uh, now I'll hit that check mark up at the top right hand corner and it is saved in my OneDrive and this will sync over to my computers. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and end this right now and move over to Word. If you're using the app to take the picture like I did, make sure your computer, whether it be OneDrive or Google on your computer, that it's in the same account that you took the picture on your phone uh, or else you're not gonna see it over there. So make sure both accounts are logged in the same one. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start uh, what I want to be my signature and I'm gonna add some text first. So I'm gonna keep this pretty simple and then I'll add it. So this is just a blank document and then I'm gonna add it to the end of a letter to show you too. Uh, so let's say if I just wanna say thank you at the end, just like this. And I'm gonna add a space, a couple spaces because this is where my signature will be, where I'm gonna put that picture. Maybe I want another space. I can change this after also. Uh, but I want to put a line. Uh, you might not want a line, but in this example, I am going to use a line. So I'm going to go up to insert and use shapes here. And I'm just going to choose line like this and draw it across, make a straight one across like this. And we'll say this is long enough. And I don't want it to be blue. So I'm going to go to the shape outline and turn it to black. All right. So that's going to be my uh, where I'm going to put my picture. I'm not going to put it in yet but I'm gonna go below this here and this is where I'm gonna put some more information. So like my name, I'm gonna uh, print my name uh, below. So maybe I have a title or something and this is just an example one. So I'll just put YouTuber or I could be teacher uh, and we could put maybe your address or phone number. So I'll just use an example uh, phone number here, just like this. Uh, you can put whatever information you want. Uh, now, the last thing what we need to do is add that picture that we put in. So where is this going to be? I'm going to go, I'm going to click up here. So this is where I want it to be inserted. And I'm going to go to insert like this and picture and it's from this device. So remember that picture that I took on one on the OneDrive app synced over to my computer because it was logged into the same account. And here it is here. Uh, you'd be able to, so I'm just on my computer here uh, and you'd be able to see here's my OneDrive here that I'm in. But if you have things like Google Drive installed, you could grab it from there. Uh, I'm gonna grab this picture, insert it. And right away you're thinking, wait, Jamie, this is way too big. Microsoft Word allows you to do a lot of formatting. It allows you to clear up the background as well. So first of all, I want this much smaller and I can uh, change this as I go to, I'll just leave it like that for now. The next step is right now the pictures, uh, uh, the layout, the wrapping isn't what I want. I want this to be behind the text. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I could click here and get uh, change the text wrapping or I can go up to the top and I can choose behind the text. Either place I can get to the same one, it's also here. Uh, so it, it moved it to behind. Now I can still select this and move it around, but it's behind the text. So I could put it to where I want. Maybe it's a little bit smaller. I can move it to however I would like on it. 
this is where I'm going to leave it. And now you're thinking the background isn't very good. It, uh, we don't want it to show up like that. Word allows you to correct this. So if I select this image again, you can see that thing, it's highlighted. Uh, if I go up to picture format, we have corrections. Now the corrections are going to be different for everybody, depending on the paper that you wrote it on or the contrast, um, the shadows on it. So again, if you get a, a, a good signature without shadows and it's nice and crisp, it might uh, work a little easier too. But I'm going to go to corrections and you can see right away we have all these options. I'm going to go and choose this last one right here. And look at this, it, it, all the background is gone out of there. Uh, you can even format it more. So if I go to corrections again here, you can see if I uh, went to picture corrections and it opens up the format picture, maybe I wanted more contrast. You can kind of play with this a little bit uh, to get it. We have artistic effects here too. So if I uh, wanted to look at a few different ones and I went over to artistic, uh, I, you know what, I don't know if I like the way I think I see a little bit more uh, in it. Oh, no, there you went and changed it. So that's a little crisper and darker, just like that. So I think this is going to work for my example. And like I said, I could move these lines around, change things a little bit more. You can go through and edit this and make multiple signatures too. So all I need to do now is highlight what I have. And you can see when I highlight it, I just select it at the top right before the thank you and, and, and drag my mouse down to the end. Everything's highlighted. If you go up to insert now and go over to quick parts, over on quick parts, we have auto text and we have this option of save selection to auto text gallery. So I'm just going to go like that. And uh, you can see it says name, thank you. So maybe I just want this to be sign uh, and it will say, say side one, because if you had multiple ones, you could change your name depending on what you can name it, whatever you want. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit OK. So what this does now, if I go back to Quick Parts at any time, I can go to Auto Text and it's right here. If I just click on this, it just puts it right in here. And how do you go ahead and edit these auto texts and or maybe delete them? If you go back uh, to your quick parts and auto text here, uh, this is the one I have created in here. I could right click on this and I could go back and edit the properties and it pops up this block. So if there's different things, maybe I want to call it a different thing. Uh, if I go back to quick parts again and I'll right click on this one, we have organize and delete. If I want this, this is the one right here. You can see it here. I can go ahead and hit delete and it is gone. So if I hop over to a different document now, let's say like a letter, I can select where I want to go, go back to my quick parts up top, go to auto text and select it and it can be quickly put in. So remember, you can have a few different signatures there depending what type of letter that you're addressing on this or maybe even different emails or ad addresses that you have uh, that you want to give people. Uh, the other thing I just want to point out before I leave today uh, inside, I'll just go back to a blank document here. Uh, going back to the picture, uh, and I'm going to insert this one more time here. I just want to point out there was the remove background that I didn't do. I used corrections. I, I find it works a little faster for what I was doing there, but there is the remove back ground option here. You just have to kind of go through. I find it a little more, it takes a little bit more time where you could go through and trace uh, different things out and put it through. But uh, I always find I miss a little bit and I have to go back and forth a, a lot more. So just wanted to point out there are different ways you can remove backgrounds in Microsoft Word. So I hope you like this tip about how to create a digital signature and save it so it's reusable over again and over again in Microsoft Word. Let me know if this works for you and what else you want to learn in Microsoft Word. Thanks for watching this time on Teachers Tech. I'll see you next time with more tech tips and tutorials.